friends, Masella here from Learn to Grow out here in the Pacific Northwest. Nice and sunny day. It's been unusually cold here for us. Um, usually we have mild winters, but it's been uh, below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're not used to all this cold weather and it's lasted longer than usual. So, but I'm sure in some areas or where you live, it's much colder. So I'm being kind of a um, wimp here. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm just glad it's a nice day and I get to come out here and enjoy the garden. Even though there's really not much growing, I still have some collard uh, greens, kale, some of the um, herbs or herbs. Um, are still doing okay, the sage and rosemary, so they're pretty cold tolerant. Um, even some oregano are sprouting back, surprisingly, already. Um, anyways, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is crop rotation. Do you practice crop rotation? And would like to know um, how you do it. I have practiced it in the past, but I haven't been consistent. And I've noticed my potato crops had some scabs the past couple of years. I also dealt with um, white rot with garlic, which is from the Allium family. So generally, you want to rotate your crops in the different plots. And you don't want to plant the same crop or same family in the same area. So for instance, tomatoes, potatoes are in the same family and they're both prone to the same garden pests um, as well as soil-borne diseases. Um, and I noticed my tomatoes last year had um, blossom end rot uh, because the soil was probably lacking some calcium. So that's why it is important to rotate your crops or practice crop rotation. And I will get more into detail with you in the next video, so stay tuned. But I would like to start this discussion and would like to know some of your ideas. So I guess I have been kind of lazy because I was planting the same crops in the same garden boxes and plots. I think I've done it maybe two, three years in a row now. And so I noticed some of my tomatoes were getting the blossom end rot. And again, the potatoes have gotten the scabs as well as the garlic, having to deal with the white fungus. So please, if you have any ideas or methods on how you rotate your crops, would really like to know how you do it. So go ahead and leave a comment below and stay tuned for my next video, and I'll be sharing my plan with you. Thanks for joining me today in the garden. Have a wonderful day and happy gardening.